Oh. All right. Well, one thing I did actually want to talk about, and unfortunately we have to talk about this shit, is the stupidity of uh, Americans, okay? I don't know if it's the stupid, whether to call this directly the stupidity of some of our fellow Americans or the the brilliance and the reach of some of our fellow Americans because this well it's only 34,000 Americans okay 34,000 okay well 34,000 Americans in this fucking country are fucking stupid and let me tell you why okay you may call this a rant or whatnot <laughs> I'm gonna tell you the fuck why quite a few Americans are stupid right now this right here you see this the picture <laughs> the death star sent over the white house you say haha that's funny who would ever think of that well apparently 30 almost 5,000 goddamn people thought that was a good, a good idea <laughs> because on the official the official government website you know the one that has all the you know, the, the the petitions where you can sign up a petition and whatnot and say, hey, I think this is a good idea. Mm -hmm. This will help our country and all that good stuff. Right. On the official website, someone thought it was a good ass idea to go ahead and make a petition to start a fucking Death Star. Real talk. Look, right what? up on the screen right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. This is on the official website of... The wait, they wanted the government to build a Death Star? Yeah, look. I'm <laughs> oh, wait, by 2016. And they gave them like an end date. Like, <laughs> this cannot be real. Oh <laughs> That's crazy. That's kind of demanding. Yeah, that is, look, look, In three years? Is, wow. Like, no. Wow. All right, so look, let, me re let me read this to you. This is on the official uh, We the People site. And this is why, like, China and the mother countries are all communists. You don't tell us shit. We just tell you how to live. Fuck your opinion. Here's why. Because when you give people the opinion, about 35,000 people make a petition to the Obama administration to secure resources and funding and begin construction of a Death Star by 2016. <laughs> Those who sign here petition the United States government to secure funding and resources and begin construction on a Death Star by 2016 by focusing defense resources into a space superiority platform and weapons system such as the Death Star, the government can spur job, spur job creation in the fields of tech of construction, engineering, space exploration and more strengthen our national defense really yeah i still don't buy it no, no. this is just a, you on. know what's gonna happen this the the, the trekkies are gonna get jealous and they're no. gonna have they're gonna wish some of the of the, uh, the uh the star trek federation to be created too now this is one thing that i do have to say about having been a uh civilian government worker our government god bless them they deal with so much shit and they and they take it all in stride because they actually replied to this fucking petition. Like you okay. would think oh, they have, have other better things to do with their time. Really? Well, yeah. you would think, but it's the U.S. federal government, you know, what shit. They got to respond to this. I'm sure they got real petitions out there like free people and stuff, but they got to respond to this one. So please. Smurfy. Yes. You want me to read that? Yeah, go ahead and give that. It read. says, the administration shares your what desire. Right, what? what they wrote as the response. They this wrote, is, okay, you read that. This isn't the petition response you're looking <laughs> for. <laughs> Just FYI before you read the rest. Yeah, this, right. is the, this is the official White House response to secure resources and funding and begin construction of, of a Death Star by 2016. This isn't the petition response you're looking for. Thank you, Paul Obi Wan Showcross. What did I say? Showcross? Yeah, yeah. Shawcross. Shawcross. All right, go give it to him, Smurfy. The administration shares your desire for job creation and a strong national defense, but a Death Star isn't on the horizon, and here are a few reasons why. 
The construction of the Death Star has been estimated to cost more than what is that? <laughs> that that's like way more than eight hundred trillion. Eight hundred and fifty three, six, nine, dollars. twelve, fifteen. There's sixteen zeros before the eighty five. Is that, that decillion? I wouldn't I even begin to know. Yeah, decillion dollars. Yeah. So they go on to say that we're working hard to reduce the deficit, not to expand it. Next reason. The administration does not support blowing up planets. (laughs) (laughs) And third reason. Yo, someone actually (laughs) thought about this shit. Yeah. (laughs) Why would we spend countless taxpayer dollars on a Death Star with a fundamental flaw that can be exploited by a one-man starship? That's right. That's right. That was a very good response. You want me to read the rest of it? However... Look carefully, and you'll already notice something already floating in the sky. That's no moon. It's a space station. (laughs) Yes, we already have a giant football field-sized international space station in orbit around the Earth that's helped us learn how humans can live and thrive in space for long durations. Holy shit, I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. Ron, did you know that? Yeah, there's a Russian guy up there right now. Hey, well, it says that there are six astronauts in there, American, Russian, and Canadian, living yeah. in there right now. Wow. Yeah, Conductor the, research. The one guy's going to be in there for a year. That's to crazy. See how, how, we can, how we can stay in space for a year. But they've done that before, though, right? Uh, yeah. Not, not for a year. He's oh, not for that long? No, not for that long. Look, hmm. dude, I know how we can stay in space for a whole year. Have this planet be on a critical meltdown about to blow up. We'll figure a way to get the fuck out to space and, <laughs> and sustain life quickly. But a whole year is different from, like, generations look 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 we're human beings we adapt Adapt. okay i guarantee you that humanity will be around long past this fucking planet this is some doctor who shit (laughs) (laughs) Uh please smurphy please let's go back to star wars let's not go to to doctor who you don't share his love for doctor who let's let's stick with star wars for right doctor who is the best show. And a matter of fact, I'm happy you got me off this stupid space thing and on to Doctor Who because I want to talk about someone real quick. Again. Oh, is it that sexy girl with the yes. accent? The yes, it is her with the British accent. Life. Anga Freeman. Freeman. That's such an ugly name, though. I don't give a fuck about her name. I'm looking <laughs> at her face and body. She has a name. Yeah. Dude, I <laughs> thought she funny. was Martha from <laughs> Doctor Who. You know what I'm saying? Martha Jones. I thought her name was Martha Jones from Doctor Who. I didn't know what the fuck her real name was. That was a good episode that they introduced her in. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. She's the shit. And that's why I'm kind of pissed off right now. I just found out that Martha Jones, although the 10th Doctor, David Tennant, is going to be... Boo him. In the, yo, just watch your fucking <laughs> mouth. Watch your fucking mouth. He's just bitch. not my not favorite. A, not <laughs> no, you didn't say it there. Wow. Watch your fucking wow, mouth. Wow, your feelings are hurt over Doctor Who, really? Dude, Dave Tennant. I just didn't awesome think he doctor. was the best he, one. He I like the what's his name, Matt Stone or whatever his name is. Matt know. Smith. Matt, whatever his name is, yeah. The guy with I two like first him the best. names. Whatever. Never trust a man with two first names. Goddamn right. Goddamn right. See that Ash hey, Jackson? Hey, hey, whatever. <laughs> I just hate him over there. But anyways. He's going to be in the 50-year anniversary movie, and they're trying to bring back some of the other doctors, either through, like, a video shit or some other thing. Mm-hmm. But Martha Jones' is fine ass ain't going to be in the 50-year anniversary, and none of the 50-year anniversary shows coming up this year. That pissed me off. Are they going to have other companions on there? Yes. You know fucking the fucktard blonde girl Rose is going to be back. <laughs> okay. I have no idea who that is. Fucking Rose. Oh, you don't watch the show at all? No, I'm not. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't watch shit like that. Fucking Rose. We don't want fucking Rose back. Anyways. Yo, yo, DC. All right. We're going to take another music break real quick, and then we're going to get into Miss Smurfette's news. Got a brand new song. Been waiting to play this shit for like a, a week or so. It's just a teaser from our man KO. You may remember him from... A track with our our good friend Danny Seth. Fuck a bitch. He was the cold black dude on the golf course. He oh, was yeah. like, young black and I'm dirty. Mm-hmm. You know that guy? Yes. The guy that's almost as black as Shadow. It's a real niggerish <laughs> day on the show, by the way. <laughs> like, you know, it is a real niggerish day. There's a we lot got, of darkies. We got that dude. We got hint, Shadow. Hint. We got Darth Vader somewhere in that Death Star. We got uh, all Darkest Night dudes on the show today. 
Yeah, so we're going to show a new a new video by him. And then coming up right around 8.30, we're going to show a new video by him, do a new story, 8.30. I think we're going to get into our sexy NFL picks, and then we're going to get Santa Claus on here. He said he's over at the goddamn Z-Burger around the corner. Send me a text message, but he is coming. Santa Claus is coming. He's actually going to bring me something. Their food sucks. Their milkshakes are even worse. Yo, Z Burger is fucking disgusting. Yo, to bring some before he comes over. Yeah. I'm hungry. Well, he'll find out. He'll find out, right? Uh-huh. Santa Claus will know. He's checking the list, checking it twice, <laughs> and see why the fuck Santa Claus is actually in town this weekend for the inauguration. He reached out to me and said he wanted to be on the show. I said, "Cool, we'll have you on the show." So you're going to get to see Santa Claus. And I think he's here to protest Obama or something. Yeah, that seems odd. Why, why would, why Doesn't would it? Santa want to protest Yeah, what does Santa know about politics anyway? Yeah. I don't know. We're going to find out, all right? So, new song up by K.O. It's called Introducing. Just a trailer. Got to check that out. And then we're going to be back on Yo Yo DC. Dot com. Wow, wow, wow. K.O. K.O. M.E. Okay. okay. Yeah. M.E. Okay. Young black and I'm gifted. From the dirt where the grit is, I'm just trying to get lifted, trying to turn rats into riches. Hey, hold on. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. Did we hear this already? Is this deja vu or is this, what's going on here? What, what's, what's wrong? Young Black and I'm Hated or something like that. Like, didn't he say that in the Danny Head song? Hold on. Maybe that's his little patented thing that he said. Maybe, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like That might okay. be. Okay. That's his catchphrase. How's this? We're going to back it up. I'm going to find the Danny Set song. Yes, I please. Don't, I don't like the fact that I just stopped it off the top. That wasn't, I, I that wasn't right. I should let that shit. Are you gonna play it again anyway? I'm gonna play it again. I'm probably gonna play that uh, uh, shadow song again too today. That shit was fucking ridiculous. Young black and I'm hated. So here we go, Ko. Introducing, but yeah, I think you did use that line before. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Young black and I'm gifted from the dirt where the grit is. Okay. Now we got the other song to play. Young black and I'm gifted. All right. He said, Young bat, black and I'm gifted. Some from the dirty ditch. She had me. Then hold it next time she saw me. Okay. See that bassy sound, that's trap music.
Oh. All right. Well, one thing I did actually want to talk about, and unfortunately we have to talk about this shit, is the stupidity of uh, Americans, okay? I don't know if it's the stupid, whether to call this directly the stupidity of some of our fellow Americans or the fucking Death Star. Real talk. Look, right what? up on the screen right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm not lying. I'm not lying. This is on the official website of the government. Wait, they wanted the government to build a Death Star? Yeah, look. I'm <laughs> oh, wait, by real. 2016. And they gave them like an end date. Like, <laughs> this cannot be real. By oh here. <laughs> That's crazy. That's kind of demanding. Yeah, that is, look, In three years. The brilliance and the reach of some of our fellow Americans. Because this Well, it's only 34,000 Americans. Okay. Okay. Well, thirty-four thousand Americans in this fucking country are fucking stupid, and let me tell you why. Okay, you may call this a rant or whatnot. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you the fuck why. Because on the official, the official government website, you know the one that has all the, you know the 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 petitions where you can sign up a petition and whatnot and say, hey, I think this is a good idea. Mm-hmm. This will help our country and all that good stuff. Right. On the official website, someone thought it was a good-ass idea to go ahead and make a petition to start a fuck. Quite a few Americans are stupid right now. This right here, you see this? The picture, <laughs> the Death Star, sent over the White House. You say, ha-ha, that's funny. Who would ever think of that? Well, apparently, 30... Almost 5,000 goddamn people thought that was a good, a good idea. 